So uh, once again, uh, thank you uh, for joining back in uh, on Instagram Live. And if you are on my podcast, thank you for joining me on my podcast, Thrive, Not Survive After Abuse. Today uh, we are going to talk about um, going to talk about life. Is that uh, is that a game or a match or isn't it right? So in life coaching, I've been in life coaching for quite a while now, and in life coaching uh, we we compare life a lot with sports matches and stuff like that. And my background in coaching actually is also. Uh, in sports, you know, I've been an athlete uh, for practically my whole life, and uh, and I've did it in basically two uh, two things. Made, made basically one is martial arts, and the other one is 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 dancing. So um, on on a reasonable to top level, maybe that's for you uh, to decide. Um, but so as a life coach, I do that a lot. We we get a lot of the things that we learn from from sports uh, in. Um, for our life coach clients. So far, so good, right? So, um, and I see that more and more life coaching is getting more and more uh, popular, which is great, by the way. I think I think it's not, there's nothing wrong to be coached on life things, right? So there is where the analogy is really well. So if you wanna have uh, a, a, good, um, a good performance as a sporter in any sport, and every athlete knows that, that to have a good uh, coach besides or next to you next to you makes a huge difference right makes a huge difference not only for the motivational side but it's for a lot of mindset things and stuff like that so all right there was just a little of introduction so what has that to do with the topic of today and what has that overall to do with what this podcast is normally about right 10 a.m every more every saturday morning on dallas i always do a little talk but i had this question right uh, from um, from a, from a student a, a little while ago, which has very much to do what I'm going to talk about. So if you just think about any sports, I don't know if anyone online likes a sports, but if if you do if you do like a certain sport, then just let me know whether it's dance, whether it's uh, you know whether it's uh, football, uh, then. Um, then that is good. So if you are online and you have a favorite sport, just let me know so I can uh, I can let you make a little you know, connection between those things. So I'm not a big fan of, of football and don't immediately stop watching this or, or most of the sports to be honest. But I, for instance, I do, besides the sports that I do myself, uh, which is dancing, I do like, uh, I do like uh, for instance, to watch a tennis game. So that, that I truly do like volley. Someone says volleyball. Uh, someone says uh, dance sport or ice skating. All right, good. So those are good uh, things. Now volleyball is is something that I'm from the Netherlands, and there were times, you know, if you know something about volleyball, that the Dutch volleyball players were actually pretty top of the world, and it is because you know the Dutch people, not me, the Dutch people are fairly tall. Okay, I'm dig- digressing here, but if we look at, for instance, the Olympic Games and we look at these volleyball matches, we see uh, we see these matches, and that's when these athletes have to do their top performances, right? Or if you go to ice skating, then you see, uh, you know, a solo ice skater or maybe even a couple. You see them when they have to do a top performance. And a lot of life coaching is coaching towards that. Yeah, coaching towards that. That's what we see. And hence, uh, if we talk about success of life, then we start to uh, think about life as moments. And we see moments as moments that we succeed and then we see moments where we fail and we start to remember these moments. And if you have a lot of moments where you succeed, you probably think that you have a really good life. And if you have a lot of moments where you fail, then you might think that you don't have a good life. And either one could be false or true, right? So let me tell you, uh, let me tell you this, because life is not a match. Not, life is not a sport. And I know as a sporter and as an athlete, that sounds maybe weird, and if you have been coaching with me, you might think, wow, he's taking a completely new direction here. Well, actually, not so much, right? What we don't know about most athletes, unless you're an athlete yourself, is the work that they put on every day, right? It's the work that they put on every day. And the good athletes are all, most of the time just at their quality level every day. It's not that they suddenly... Uh, when they have a competition, up their level of sports. 
that's actually not true. So I've been a micro artist. And it's not that when I went to a competition, could be nationals or could be, I don't know, European or world even, that suddenly at those competition days that I was a different person. I had a different role and I had a different job to do at that thing. But the quality I had as an athlete didn't change from one day to the other. Does that, does that make any sense? Right? And that's where a lot of people... You know, and unfortunately, have to say that as you know, I'm a little bit older, and um, so I, that's unfortunately where I see in modern coaching that we try to coach people to some sort of peak performances. And I, I developed a whole system to bring athletes to a peak performance. Know when you have your peak performance, which is all great, but I can guarantee you that uh, top athletes, you know, give me a name if you are in tennis, you know, that might be. Agassi, and Agassi actually has been uh, uh, been an athlete who has been researched on this topic. By the way, uh, in the back back in the, day, in the days when he was um, when he was an athlete, and all these athletes, they of course they know when the when the pressure is on, they know how to still perform. So so listen to what I say. They know when the pressure is on that they still know how to perform. They know when the circumstances changes that they still know how to perform. So let's look a little bit at other uh, at other things. Let's not for a moment still go to look at athletes and make a jump to our first responders. Let's take a, a, a fireman or let's take a policeman or let's take, a, you know, I don't know, um, Coast Guard. You know, I don't know, are the Coast Guard people who, you know, fish people out of the water? When something happens, yeah, probably they do, right? You remember that movie of Kevin Costner. So if this is your first time, by the way, on my podcast, you know I always digress uh, 50 times, at least in, in 20 minutes. But, you know, uh, I saw this movie of Kevin Costner. It's the second time last Tuesday I also did a Kevin Costner analogy. But in this movie in, with Kevin Costner, they teach, uh, they teach these Coast Guards, uh, life uh, rescuers, how to rescue people out of the water. Right, and so those people know when when the pressure is on, that's when they need to perform. Right, that's what it is. To think about what I said about the supporter. So it's only that the circumstances changed in something life threatening for another person, and then they can perform. So, but the quality of this life rescuer was already trained and ingrained in that person, sometimes even tougher, if you look at that movie, by the way, than actually the real life situation. And, and, and I used to do that as a fighter, right? Not a fighter on the street, but as a fighter of martial arts. My coach and my trainer always said that uh, I'll make your training and practice harder than the competition. Yeah, the competition would always add something to it, which is audience, you know, or it's maybe because you were defending your title and stuff like that. But life is not about defending your title. Life is not even a match. There are just moments where you have a slightly different circumstances, but the practice of life needs to happen in your everyday habits, right? So I'm 15 minutes in the podcast and now it's coming out, right? Your practice of life you know, is coming in your every day and almost every minute practice. So when the heat is on, you know, you cannot suddenly think, you know, those are really great hero stories when they do this, this, you know, extraordinary performance at this moment, right? You never knew how to swim and there is a baby falling in the water and you jump in the water and suddenly you can swim and rescue the baby. That's made a good story. I mean, I probably will write a book about it if I could, but it's not, not a thing, right? An ice skater, someone said, you know, um, online ice skating, you know, it's not that those people just go and uh, in the ice skating run and they can suddenly make those double loops and triple loops and, you know, whatever these things are called. No, that's not the case either, right? It, they already could perform that, you know, every day in their life and they go from one single loop to a uh, to a double loop, to a triple loop, and maybe even a quadruple loop. And and of course, when the competition is on, they might try to do the things that 
is most difficult for them and that ups the game a little bit but trust me it's not the first time that they did it it's the first time that they maybe performed it in a competition right and that's what life is about too you need to opt your game so yeah life is in that case maybe a game you need to opt your game every day every day you, you do your practice and i would say every day you need to increase your quality a little bit maybe it's even like half of an inch right but it's every day a little bit better and make that consistent do it a little bit better and make that consistent every top athlete would definitely agree what i just said you know whether it's in volleyball whether it's in dance sport whether it's in ice skating or any of the other sports that i see but we as audience we always see when people are in their peak performance Right? Even if they lose a game, trust me, that's when the sporter is also in his peak performance. It just didn't pan out the way he wanted uh, to be panned out. But that's when it is. That's what we see. And that's, how, and that's when we think about failures and, 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 and wins and stuff like that. And that is just at that little small place where a sports game you know, is played, which is really in, uh, an agreeable, um, how do you say, the really uh, nice to watch, right? But uh, life is a little bit broader and it is not a game at all. Life is pretty serious, right? Doesn't mean that you cannot have fun. You should have fun and enjoy it and you should enjoy life. But, you know, you want to increase your life, you know, then, uh, then, you cannot, um, then you cannot increase it just in a second, right? You have to practice your whole day every day, right? So... The reason why, for instance, uh, the lottery, and, and I'm from Dallas, Texas here, so uh, there's now just a lot of talk around the lotteries. We have the Powerball and we have Mega Millions, I think. That's what I believe. Super high jackpot, right? And, uh, and of course, everyone buys a ticket for or a, a lot for that, uh, for those uh, things, because, you know, who knows? You might win 500 million. And that's a little bit... Uh, what it is sometimes you have a lucky draw in anything in life you can have a lucky draw and then suddenly your life increases or you have a bad draw and then your life falls down so those things happen right uh, but in general life is not like that life is a continuous improvement of the day before so i uh, i have a joke with <laughs> with someone uh, who i love very much and uh, sometimes he asks me, you know, do you love me? I always say, I love you more than yesterday and a little bit less than tomorrow. Yeah, I love you more than yesterday and, uh, uh, and, and but a little bit less than tomorrow. And that's what's life about. How good are you, Sean? Well, I'm a little bit better than yesterday, but not as good as I will be tomorrow. So write that down. That would be the quote for you, right? So how are you today? A little bit better than yesterday, but not as good as tomorrow, because it's a constant increase of the qualities and the talents and and the knowledge and and whatever you have. Maybe it's the humor, you know. Maybe it's your mood. You know, always make sure that you go just a little bit better every day, and then you will see that you can play life on the highest level possible. Any, any businessman, any sportsman would tell you the same story that it has been a daily habit, if not, you know, an hourly habit that made them in the end uh, the best way they are. You know, I talked, well, not personally, but I was in one of his masterminds, Dean Graziosi said the same thing. You know, I regularly base, I talk to sports athletes, they say the same thing, we work. We go into the room, we go and work every day on our skills so that when there is a match, you know, we are. Uh, we can measure ourselves. We can compare ourselves with someone else, and that's what we want to do in sports. We like that. We like to be compared to someone else. Now, this is the last part. What I wanted to bring in, since these components are there, you see people doing something on super high level, right? And they constantly compare themselves by choice with someone else to see who's the best. But it's for a game. If you do these things and see that as life, you know, you single it out. If you isolate that competition and put that in real life, which is happening a lot nowadays, right? Even, I'm sorry I have to say that there are actually coaches um, doing that. Life is not a match. 
you are cursed because if I go through life and constantly compare myself with someone else, I become a pretty miserable person, I can tell you that, right? So, and every time if I believe that I have to do a match every day and be on the top of my game and be something special every day, life becomes very miserable too. You are special every day because you're just in general a special person. So up your game every day, right? Just a little bit, like I said to the person, I love you a little bit more than yesterday and a little bit less than tomorrow, right? And in life, I will be a little bit better uh, today than yesterday and I'll be a little bit less than I will, and will be tomorrow. And then you will have a good quality of life. And if you like tests like I do once in a while, then you go in sports and test yourself for that moment for fun and enjoyment with someone else. Does that make sense? Don't put these things in there and learn the right things from top sport and not the wrong thing. All right, this was Sha uh, with the podcast Thrive Not Survive After Abuse. And uh, of course, as every Saturday on Instagram Live, today we were talking about is life a sport and a game or isn't it? You know, the answer is a little bit in both, right? And uh, if you like what we're doing here, uh, follow me back on Instagram Live. It's usually every Saturday at 10 a.m. Uh, but if you can't wait until uh, until a Saturday, which I can imagine, then uh, see me on Instagram, on uh, Facebook Live on Tuesday, uh, 12 o'clock uh, Dallas time, which is 5 o'clock in the Netherlands. Um, that's not true. It's actually 7 o'clock in the Netherlands. And I say that because there are always people from the Netherlands online. Uh, it's uh, it's called The Place. Find me on, Insta on Facebook Live. We'll do a talk there as well. And of course, you can follow my daily podcast and what have you not. I wish you a really good Saturday and the rest of your Sunday. This was Sha. Bye-bye.